to see how his Laker teammates react. Because, of course, in Phoenix, if Steve Nash gave the ball up and there was no shot, they immediately gave it right back to him. Top. Nice move by Gerald Henderson. Head-to-head -head there with Danny Green. They're in the same, basically the same class. 86 to the Miami Heat. And Chris Bosch, of all people, hit the game-winning three. He missed the one, the possession before. He got it again. He said he was going to shoot it a little bit longer. Before they come here Monday, so... Oh, wow. And maybe the Spurs will catch a little bit of a yeah, break. Yeah. And see if uh, it's on the city. Hopefully be bragging just a bit. Here is Green. Can't connect. The first of four regular season meetings. They'll play the second game a week from tonight in Dallas. So, the season really hasn't started for these two. Yeah, you're exactly right. Not to be bad for London. Tony Parker running the show. Parker out front with it. Ninth in the league in assists at 7.9 a game. Danny Green. Back to Tony with 10 on the shot clock. Green. A three. Four percent. But the Spurs, 64%. They're hitting tonight, but leading only by four. And there's Danny Green. Off will be in when the ball is dead. I'd like to see the Nuggets get some stops here. Gary Neal casts off. Spurs started off three for four. They've gone one for eight since then. The Lakers have now hit six of nine on the night. First quarter. Patty Mills gives it off to Neal. Mills off the screen, fires the three. He is Indiana's scoring leader at just over 16 points per game. In his 10th year out of Xavier. Parker guarded by his former teammate George Hill. And here is Danny Green, a good three-point shooter. Hit the bench like, yeah, that's my fault. Morris has nine starts in the 20 games that they have played. Parker swings the ball over to Green for three. By the way, jot it down. February 27th, Spurs back home after the nine-game rodeo road trip to start 17 final home games against Phoenix. Danny Green got the three. Signed by the Spurs, cut three D-League teams later and a team in Europe as well. Back and doing a nice job with San Antonio. Parker back in. That's something you see a lot. Between Popovich and Tony Parker, he rode him really hard because he had to find out not only could he be able to run this team. Jordan with 152 dunks, fifth yes. in the league, while Blake Griffin is number one. During the quarter break, along with Leonard Diaw, Gary Neal, and Tim Duncan. Here's a different looking lineup for the Spurs to start the fourth quarter. Looks pretty spry to me. Here's Green out top. Duncan comes off the screen and Spurs, so did Monty Ginobili at the timeout. Danny Green and Kawhi Leonard subbed out of the game. Parker and Duncan stayed out there. And there's Duncan checked by Elton Brandon. The turtle handoff to Tony Parker. Parker. Antonio, five minutes left. Mo Williams is going to check back in on the next whistle. Duncan. Parker. Floater. San Antonio, 7 of 8 on the road, 15 of 16 overall. They're playing some of their best basketball right now. They shot 41 and 35 in the two losses. And generally, Spurs shoot better than the opponent. They win. Timmy. Got follower? Right, so you want, but that's not the way Twitter works. So oh, it's not? No, you don't oh. really spell the words out. Why not? That's just the way. Solid effort there from Derek Favors. Goes in there with a lot of focus, a lot of strength, and just too athletic when he gets the ball that close to the rim. The bench has outscored the Spurs 23 to 12. Got to get a stop. Two minutes. Inside of two minutes. Park played anybody early, but I tell you what, watching them now, I have to believe that they're for real. Because hey, one stat that sticks out to me, they have three turnovers in this game. Down, he kind of rocked back and did splitter in the ball. Game. He had 25 of the first meeting, Beasley off the bench, zero in the second. Chalk full of good talent at that one spot. Yeah, 
Did Doc Rivers say golden age of point Yeah, no, it really is. Well, and I think they're more physical than we are more aggressive. What will win this game for you? Hell, I don't know. Try to play better. All right, thanks. Hesitate against this defense. 16 for Beasley. He's 8 for 11 in 15 minutes off the bench tonight. 86 84 Phoenix. Patty Mills. Antonio. I told him he threw me off. I saw that game Sunday that we had on ESPN, so I figured we had him for Wednesday. You don't do that to me. <laughs> Duncan inside over. Danny Green drops it down to Tim. But Steph had to make sure he took uh, good care and fought his wife on Mother's Day gift. He said he got the job done yesterday. Three fouls on Bogus, so he is out. Festus Azui is in for the Warriors, the rookie guarding Duncan. Tony Parker. David Aldridge, what'd you dig up at halftime? Well, you know, the Lakers are, uh, as you would imagine, a little demoralized. And as Mike D'Antoni said, it, you know, you can't do anything if you commit 16 turnovers. You just have no chance. If they had those turnovers. Special right now defensively for San Antonio, stopping the leading score from Memphis for even getting on the board. And there's five and a half remaining in the third. Leonard over Prince. Especially going up against the young buck and Kyrie Irving. Second quarter. Spurs have shot it well. Now Gary Neal replaces Danny Green. Neal impressive in that first half work. And Blair won. That was actually a good play, especially out of the timeout. I would like love to see the ball in the hands of Drew Holiday. Remember the conversation Doug had with him about superstars? Yeah. That's when superstars got to step up. And has two today. You know he's due, but just let's hope that it's not today. Take it out on Houston their next game. Manu won a game in the regular season. Thus far in the playoffs, they've averaged just under 107. Here they're just getting to 30 with five minutes left in the half. on the floor as Duncan averaging 17 points 12th in the league and rebounding at 10 what a tear during Tony's absence Parker's second game few things up it just gives them some flexibility too because now with 13 players on the roster and they're making a playoff run here they may pick up somebody towards the end of the year there are yep. players out there and they've got nearly three he looked okay despite his calf injury three early points but he seemed to move pretty freely he's on the bench right now Along with Tim Duncan, come up with some type of offense, especially from downtown, to get that pressure open. And as you take a look at the front court points, there were no changes either way out of that break. This is Kawhi Leonard. And the team ball, guys. All right, thank you very much, Egypt. Always something going on around here besides the great entertainment of the Spurs. 31-28, Manu with the man. Certainly the man in charge of day-to-day -day operations, President Governor Josh Cronkey, and of course, uh, the VP of Basketball Operations. Points and four assists. He's in control of this game here in the first half. Well, the spacing for San Antonio has been beautiful to watch. Parker on the pull-up. Back in 89-90, shot 83.2. Are you serious? I mean, Oklahoma City has a legitimate shot of being the best free-throwing team ever. That's how you win a lot of ball games. <laughs> Duncan, the seven on the shot. Our sweepstakes, message and data rates may apply. Andre Blatch goes one out of two. Duncan, jump shot. Right in front of Chris Paul. Spurs 31 and 4 at home. The Clippers are guaranteed of going 500 on the road for the first time in franchise history. They're 21 and Really looked like it was over after those first two games in San Antonio, but give this Thunder team a lot of credit. Those young guns and legs really came out. The first meeting, that was a Spurs win here in San Antonio, January 18th, 95-88. Spurs at 28 straight against this club here in San Antonio. After that three-minute mark, 
of the second quarter, you know, much like the last game, you're in a situation where there are five guys on the floor playing together who have not played together at all this year. Hard to do that against a great team like the Spurs. Duncan. Switch when they're supposed to get back every time and contain. Now he talks about always striving for balance, but he wants more of an inside presence. Wants to do that by creating more space for the big. So look for Dwight to get more touches in the second half. Well, Howard had a big second quarter. Duncan. Duncan and Neal, who has eight here in the fourth. Duncan, a turnaround. Golden State has missed five out of ten, so a plus eight there. And Parker, Duncan, and Ginobili have scored the last 16 for the Spurs. His first bucket is Thornton. He just hit the easy one. Now, how about, how about our guys quit throwing the ball all over the gym? Last two possessions. Stops the Spurs 10 0 run. That's right. I like Patrick Patterson. Uh, that was a surprising move by both teams, actually, because uh, I thought Patterson played well. In Screen for Bayless to open up behind the three-point line. That ball was in the hole and out. Ginobili steps back against the Spurs. Sean, let's take a look at our Lincoln key to victory tonight. What is it? Oh, you got to take care of business. Every right, everybody right now in the corner. Bonner, Duncan, Leonard and Green. Here's Danny. Tony in trouble. Somehow finds two. Exclusive benefits like lowest price, flexible payment options, playoff priority, and personal service. Spurs.com, the place to go to lock in your season tickets today. Bill and Sean L. Andrew Monaco with you as Kawhi Leonard, the lead. Game as well. And now, here come the Spurs with Ginobili. Guarded by Baysmore, 18 on the clock. Here is opportunity. Spurs lead by three. Here's Ginobili off the screen. His handles from. I was wondering where he learned to dribble like that. Here is Ginobili. Half and down the stretch. That's a, a remarkable. This is a crazy shot from Jeremy Lin. Still gets it to fall. He's got 34. Antonio Spurs. They ended the quarter on a 19 to 4 run. They made their last six field goals and three straight three pointers. Manu Ginobili. Great price for auto home and life insurance. Stats after three are brought to you by Ace Ticket. Call 1 800 My Seats for the best tickets to all your favorite games. Ginobili goes. One of the special relationships this league has ever seen. Ginobili to the basket. Oh. San Antonio with it. Splitter Duncan. And a layup rolls off. Outside. Ford does pop on him to square up on him because he has not shown that he can blow by him off the dribble. Part of what has made this San Antonio team over the years the ability to get Manu Ginobili. He get a little sneaky sometimes. It was a little bit dirty. <laughs> Manu. 14 by the Kings here in the second quarter as the Kings have hit 7 of 12 shots. The Spurs have hit 5 of 10. Leonard to Neal, 9 on the shot clock. Gary, nice layoff. You hear Denver mention more often than any other team from people in the West saying, I don't want to play them. A small lineup is something you may stick with in the fourth quarter. Are you going to keep it to yourself? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Back 75 73. Vintage Andre Miller. That's a three in the corner. Manu slips it to Kawhi Leonard. 5 0. Oh. Four yesterday and in Indiana today. We should rank 1 through 16 the best home court advantages in the playoffs. Not right now. You gave one of the Splash Brothers H3 0. In this case, Curry. The ability to get going, but I love the poise at the end. Anger to poise. Morris T. Allen again. Seven starts. So you have one of those guys coming off the bench trying to make a name for himself. Danny Green. 
Leonard, Diaw, and Splitter for the Spurs. Teague, Corver, Smith, Horford, and Harris starting.